Rome, the Eternal City, has left an indelible mark on the world. A cradle of civilization, Rome's influence can be felt in every corner of the globe, from our legal systems and architecture to our languages and cultures. The Colosseum, a marvel of Roman engineering, was more than just a venue for gladiatorial contests. It also played host to sea battles, with the arena occasionally flooded for the spectacle. The Vatican, the smallest state in the world, houses St. Peter's Basilica, boasting the largest interior of any Christian church. And the Trevi Fountain? It's not just a grandiose display of Baroque artistry. Legend has it, toss one coin over your shoulder into the fountain, and you'll return to Rome. Two coins you'll find love, three coins you'll marry. But Rome is not just these iconic landmarks, there is so much more to the Eternal City. Hidden away on Palatine Hill, you'll find Vigna Barberini, a lush vineyard lined with rows of grapevines that is far more than just a beautiful sight. It is an echo of the city's rich and storied history. Once the stomping grounds for Rome's emperors and aristocrats, Palatine Hill now houses Vigna Barberini, a vineyard that continues the age-old tradition of winemaking that dates back to ancient Rome. The vineyard owes its name to the Barberini family, an influential dynasty of the 17th century. Yet it's not just the Barberini's legacy that lives on here. The vines grown in this vineyard are ancient varieties, carefully preserved and nurtured to produce wines that provide a glimpse of Rome's past. As you wander through the vineyard, allow the warmth of the sun, the whisper of the leaves, and the aroma of ripe grapes to engulf your senses. A visit to Vigna Barberini is a journey into Rome's history. Rome's culinary scene is as rich as its history. As we delve into the heart of Roman cuisine, we encounter a delightful array of traditional dishes that are steeped in centuries of culinary evolution. Begin with cacio e pepe, a simple yet mouth-watering pasta dish made with pecorino romano cheese and black pepper, embodying the city's preference for minimalist yet flavorful meals. Next on our gastronomic journey is Cacioffo alla Romana, or Roman-style artichokes. This dish, typically served during the artichoke season, is a true Roman delicacy. The artichokes are braised with herbs and garlic until tender, resulting in a dish that's both rustic and sophisticated. And let's not forget San Pietrini, delightful little chocolate-covered treats named after the cobblestones that line the streets Rome. These sweet delicacies are a must-try for any chocolate lover out there, these dishes reflect Rome's culinary prowess. Enjoying them is like tasting a slice of the city's rich heritage, a treat for the senses and the soul. The Borghese family, a name synonymous with Rome's history. When we talk about the cultural and political landscape of Rome, one cannot omit the Borghese family's substantial contributions. This powerful family has left an indelible mark on the city's art, culture and politics. Their patronage of artists like Caravaggio and Bernini has resulted in some of the most iconic artworks that Rome is famous for. The Borghese family's love for art and beauty is evident in every corner of the city. Their legacy is perhaps best encapsulated in the Villa Borghese. This grand estate, now a public park, houses an impressive collection of art, including works from the family's own collection. The villa itself is a testament to the family's taste and love for beauty, with its stunning architecture and meticulously manicured gardens. The Borghese family's legacy continues to shape Rome's cultural landscape. Their influence echoes in the city's cobblestone streets, its awe-inspiring monuments and its vibrant art scene. Truly, the spirit of the Borghese family lives on in Rome. From the grandeur of the Borghese family's legacy, we take a leap forward in time to a different kind of cultural phenomenon. Cinecitta, the heart of Italian cinema. Born in the 1930s under Mussolini's regime to promote Italy and its fascist ideals, Cinecita quickly became a hub of creativity and innovation. This film city played a crucial role in the golden age of Italian cinema, birthing masterpieces that have stood the test of time. Classics like La Dolce Vita and Ben Hur were meticulously crafted within these very walls, immortalizing Cinecita's place in cinematic history. Cinecitta not only revolutionized Italian cinema, but also significantly shaped Rome's global image and cultural influence. Films shot here showcase the Eternal City's beauty and charm to the world, making Rome a dream destination for many. Today, Cinecitta continues to be a beacon of creativity and cinematic excellence, nurturing new talent and creating films that captivate audiences worldwide. From the ancient splendors of the Borghese family to the modern marvels of Cinecitta, 
Rome's cultural influences are as diverse as they are profound. Rising majestically in the heart of Rome is the monument to Vittorio Emmanuel. Vittorio Emmanuel II, the first king of a united Italy, is a figure of significant historical importance. His reign marked the end of many smaller kingdoms, duchies and principalities, bringing them all under a single banner, Italy. The monument in his honor is a tribute to this unity and the resilience of the Italian people. Constructed in the late 19th century, the monument is an impressive work of architecture. Its grand white marble facade and enormous statues are a sight to behold. But the monument isn't just for show. It houses the tomb of the unknown soldier, a testament to the countless unnamed heroes who've sacrificed for the country. And let's not forget the view. Make your way to the top, and you'll be rewarded with an unparalleled panorama of Rome. From this vantage point, the Eternal City stretches out in all its glory. This monument is a symbol of Italy's unity and resilience. Just outside Rome, the Castelli Romani region offers a wine lover's paradise. Nestled amongst verdant hills and serene lakes, this region is a treasure trove of vineyards that have been cultivating grapes for centuries. The grape vines here are lovingly nurtured by the hands of multi-generational families, each with their unique winemaking traditions and techniques. A tasting journey through Castelli Romani is a journey through time, each sip revealing the rich history and cultural heritage of this region. You'll find yourself captivated by the variety, from the crisp white Frascati, known as the wine of popes and of the people, to the robust red Seasonese, a wine that whispers tales of ancient Rome with every glass. But it's not just about the wine, it's about the experience, the warmth of the sun on your face, the earthy scent of the vineyards, the sound of a cork popping. These are the moments that make a wine tasting in Castelli Romani truly unforgettable. A visit to Castelli Romani is a toast to Rome's winemaking tradition, the Roman coast, a place where history, beauty and mythology come together. The Roman coast captivates with its blend of the past and present, where ancient ruins stand tall against the backdrop of the azure Mediterranean Sea. This is where the mighty Roman Empire once exhibited its naval dominance, a marker of Rome's remarkable maritime history. The coast is also steeped in intriguing mythology. It's said that the god Natuno, the Roman equivalent of the Greek god Poseidon, ruled these waters with a trident in hand. The nymph Nympha is believed to have lent her enchanting beauty to the lush gardens and nature that flourish here. And let's not forget the sorceress Circe, who according to legend, used her magic to transform her enemies into animals. These tales add a layer of mystique to the Roman coast, making it a fascinating place to explore. This is not just a coastline, it's a treasure trove of stories waiting to be discovered. The Roman coast continues to captivate with Rome's enduring allure. Beyond the well-trodden path, Rome's hidden gems await. In the quaint neighborhood of Trastevere, the city's artistic spirit thrives. Here you can stroll through narrow cobblestone streets lined with vibrant murals and vintage boutiques. Don't forget to visit the Church of Santa Cecilia, a testament to Rome's rich religious history. Venture a little further, and you'll find the Quartier Coped, an architectural wonderland that seems to have sprung from a fairy tale. Its eclectic buildings, adorned with mythical creatures and intricate designs, are a feast for the eyes. Finally, immerse yourself in Rome's literary legacy at the Keats Shelley House. Nestled beside the Spanish steppes, this museum celebrates the lives of romantic poets John Keats and Percy Bysshe Shelley. From Trastevere's vibrant streets to Quartier Copade's whimsical architecture and the literary allure of the Keats Shelley House, these hidden treasures offer a glimpse into Rome's heart and soul. Rome is a city of endless discovery. And as we draw to a close, let's take a moment to recap the treasures we've explored, the paths less trodden in this timeless city. We began with the legacy of Rome, appreciating the profound impact this city has had on our world, far beyond the iconic Colosseum, Vatican and Trevi Fountain. We delved into lesser known tales that have shaped the city's rich tapestry, then, we ventured to the vineyard on Palatine Hill, Vigna Barberini, a testament to Rome's enduring connection with viticulture. A verdant oasis in the heart of the city, it's a testament to the city's past and a delicious opportunity to taste history. Our journey continued with the delights of Roman cuisine. We savored the creamy, peppery twirls of Cazio e Pepe, the tender artichoke hearts of Carziofo alla Romana, and the sweet stone-shaped San Pietrini. Each plate, a culinary story of Rome. 
We then climb the steps of the monument to Vittorio Emmanuel, paying homage to the first king of a unified Italy. From its vantage point we marveled at the cityscape, understanding why Rome is indeed a city of breathtaking views. Next we ventured into the countryside for wine tasting in Castelli Romani, the rolling vineyards, the crisp wines, the rustic charm, a true Italian experience. Our journey then took us to the Roman coast where we discovered the history and beauty of Nettuno, Ninfa, and Circe. The tales of mythology interwoven with the stunning vistas made for an unforgettable experience. Finally we revealed the hidden gems of Rome, those places off the beaten path that hold a special kind of magic. Each one, a secret waiting to be discovered, a story waiting to be told. In Rome, every corner turned is a step back in time, every meal a feast for the senses, and every view a masterpiece. That's the magic of the Eternal City.